Hello users and welcome to another one of these weird, weird videos. Donald Trump Jr. on alleged Kenosha shooter. You shouldn't have been at the protests, but we all do stupid things at 17. Oh lord, here we go, here we go, here we go. Donald Trump Jr. on Tuesday called for due process in the case of 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse, who has been accused of killing two protesters and wounding a third in Kenosha, Wisconsin. We're waiting for due process. We're not jumping to a conclusion, Trump Jr. said during an interview on the TV show Extra. If I put myself in Kyle Rittenhouse's shoes... Maybe I shouldn't have been there. He's a young kid. I don't want young kids running around the streets with AR-15s. Maybe I wouldn't have put myself in that situation. Who knows? We all do stupid things at 17. It's a little beyond stupid, the show's host, Rachel Lindsay, replied. Really stupid. Fine. Trump Jr. conceded. But we all have to let due process play out and let due process take its course. Trump Jr. appeared. I don't care. I shouldn't have highlighted that part. The attorneys representing Rittenhouse have since claimed that the Illinois teenager was acting in self-defense at the protests. Yeah, you know what's weird? When you are claiming that your client acted in self-defense, you don't tweet things like this. The 17-year-old Kenosha kid tells the supporters to stay strong. This young man is made of something very, very special. And I, I covered this Twitter thread a while ago, but, you know, just check this out in the description if you want, you know, to read this. But this guy's lawyers are comparing him to someone who fired the first shot of the American Revolution. And then they're going to say it was self-defense. Oh, it's self-defense. I was defending myself. Coincidentally, I'm a war hero, but I was defending myself. What? That doesn't really make any sense. But here's the thing. When cops shoot people. Do you see the Trump family call for due process? When George Floyd was killed, did the Trump family call for due process? When Jacob Blake was shot, did the Trump family call for due process? When this person or that person or X person or Y person or Z person was shot and or killed by police, did the Trumps immediately come out and rush to their defense and say, damn those cops? Should have had due process. It's due process for me. And my ilk. When I kill someone. Or when someone I agree with kills someone. But not due process for thee. When an innocent child gets shot by cops. When an unarmed black man walking away from police gets shot by cops. That's fine. It's okay. Due process is not an issue there. Police acting as judge jury and executioner in a split second in the heat of a moment that's fine everything's good there oh but a teenager went to a protest and shot people self-defense or not the hypocrisy here is blatant now again i personally think kyle rittenhouse is a terrorist i think there is no reason why you would organize with a private militia to defend in a gas station in a state you don't live in other than if you're up to no good. This violence, whether or not it was in self-defense, began as with political intent. Now, here's the thing. It's under my impression that one of the people that started the incident with Kyle Rittenhouse was not that great of a person. I don't care. Okay? I don't care. Because when you are running away after shooting people, you are an active shooter. And if you turn around when you're running away to shoot more people, that does not help in your claim for self-defense. I don't care if they're rioters and looters. Rioters and looters! What? That automatically gives you reason and, 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 and helps your case? While your lawyer is out there saying that you fired the first shot of the second American Revolution... It's bizarre. And the hypocrisy here runs deep. And I thought Trump Jr. saying this at this point in time, especially given the police executing Michael Ryanel, especially given all the police murders and attempted murders that have happened in the last two, three weeks, or at least since the Kenosha incident, I think this is bizarre. When is Donald Trump Jr. going to talk about the 13-year-old boy with autism? 
who cops try to murder by shooting him several times during a mental health call. Did Donald Trump Jr. tweet about that? Did he make a Facebook post about that? Maybe he did. And if he did, let me know. But until then, I don't care what this guy has to say. And I think it's ridiculous that anyone would say this kind of stuff at this kind of moment. When police are killing people indiscriminately, shooting at children, unarmed children. Police are shooting at unarmed children in their own homes. When we have a pandemic that Donald Trump is solely responsible for the effects of, killing 200,000 people, bare minimum, at the very least. This is the last thing I want to hear the Trump family say, given all the damage and destruction that they have done to this country, to the people that supported them even. No, I'm sorry. This is not helping Kyle's case. Unbelievable. 